everybody, thank you for checking out my review for this high spec cordless drill. This is a variable speed drill. Um, and I went on the hunt a while back for a budget friendly cordless drill. I tried a few of them and was sorely disappointed. Um, this high spec was the first one that actually impressed me. So I decided to do a review for it. Um, it I'm gonna move it out of the way because I just want you to see it does come with a lot of extras. The tool bag is really nice. I like that a lot. Um, the, the extra tools, as far as the quality goes, don't expect pro quality tools for this price. It's a, this is a really good price, but you get very, very decent tools for the price. Um, it, the, the torpedo level is very nice. The drill bits themselves, these are good quality drill bits. They're not drill bits that if you're gonna be using every day, um, you, you, uh, you may wanna consider investing a lot more money in your drill bits, but for the occasional use, these things are perfect and they come free with the drill. Uh, the drill itself actually costs less than some of the other ones that I tried that don't work nearly as good. So this is the drill. You can see it's very ergonomic. Um, the grip is nice. It's got the rubber grip, forward and backward switches here. It is keyless, which is very, which is very nice too. And it's variable torque, also good. To, to uh, control the speed, it's just the trigger speed. So you can go slow and then as you increase. Um, you can also hear, I'm gonna put it real close to the, the uh, microphone so you can hear the motor. Uh, some of the other uh, lower uh, priced drills, the budget drills, they made a terrible noise with the motor when you used them. This, it, it moves real nice, it's nice and smooth. Also has this light here on the front which is an extra little thing that I love. Um, it's one of those things you don't think you'll use, uh, but once you have it, you're gonna always want it. Um, the drill, the battery itself, just has these two little tabs on the side and it, it comes out super easy, you can see. Um, so I had a skill brand for years and the battery was so hard to get out that I would call my wife and ask her to charge it because I was going to do a project uh, and she couldn't get it out. Um, and even I struggled with it. The other thing I really like, this is the charger. Um, so the charger itself is, you just do that and then you plug it in. So it's really not obtrusive. So I don't have a lot of space in my shop. So that was really nice actually that this as much space as it takes up as this thing. So you just put the, put the battery there and you're off. Um, so that's the drill. I'm going to show you a couple. We're going to actually put it to test here. Um, I'm going to drill through some, a diff some different materials just so you can kind of see it in action. So, All right, right so I just chose it. one of the bits randomly. Uh, keyless chuck. So you're just going to slide it in, hold it, and run the drill forward until it tightens down. Um, th that noise you hear right there is the torque. So if you really want to increase it, I mean, it's really strong. This one here at the end is uh, no torque or no, no limit. Um, and you can see I can't even stop it. So it's really nice. And the, I, I haven't even drilled or uh, charged the battery since I got it, believe it or not. Um, so this is, we're just gonna go through. Variable speed is nice. And I actually, so I went through, that's just a, a normal two by four. You can drill, it's actually a really clean hole. So uh, no splinters on that side. I went through the, um, the plywood here as well. Let's check it out. Not, not bad, little, little splintering. Let's, uh, let's try a, drill, a bit or a, a hole just through it. So you can see it goes, it goes through really nice. That's a clean, clean hole uh, and really not that bad. Uh, and of course this is plywood so it it splinters really easily. So I'm actually really impressed with that. This is hardwood here. So let's go ahead and uh, give it a shot. I'm going to do this not the real way. So I'm going to just go kind of slow because it's harder to get it started and then pops right through. No splintering. Really nice actually. Um, you can see it's a, it's a pretty darn powerful drill. Let me move this so that I don't knock it out. The drill itself has a lot of power. It's 19.2 volts. Um, but it will get pretty much anything done that you need to. Um, it has a couple masonry bits in it, some smaller masonry bits. I wish I had, I had some blocks to show you, um, but really it, the, the drill itself isn't gonna have any issues going through that. So as far as a budget drill, I think you would be hard pressed to find one that's better quality than this. I'm really impressed with it. And I love the extras um, for, so you get a really good drill, you get a bunch of extras. A whole drill bit. Even this this drill bit, this same quality. If you were to pick it up from somewhere like Harbor Freight, um, this this drill set here would be about 20 bucks. Um, so if you if, if you figure that 
you know, that's extra in this, you really get a lot of bang for your buck. So I give this thing a solid five stars. I say, pick it up, you're gonna be happy with it.